Hey Leos, thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I'm here to bring you your channeled messages. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it's not going to resonate with all of you, so take what does and leave what don't. Leave what don't. Leave what don't. And um, also make sure you check your um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus all four of them, um, especially Venus this month, uh, Spirit is saying. So um, I meditated on your guys' sign and situations today. Um, I did get a couple of things um, during my meditation that I'll go over sometime during the reading, but um, I'm going to just keep continually, continuing to channel. So um, I hope you guys enjoy these messages, and if everybody continues to um, keep liking them, I will start doing them monthly. So make sure you like, comment, share, um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you for, for coming. Um, so let's get started. Leo, Spirit's main issue that he wants to bring up with the Leo's. You guys feel an emotional change coming. You guys, some of you are feeling heartbreak. Some of you guys are feeling struggle. Some of you guys are feeling stuck. For a group of you, you're having a lack of faith. Um, you're unsure of where you're at, if this is supposed to be where you're at what you're doing here, what's your purpose. And this is because your soul is in a process of expansion. You guys are facing a transformation. <coughs> but you're transforming into something better. Because of your guys' situations you've been dealing with in the past, it has brought you to a mental state where you need to start dealing with things that you've buried. You have gotten so good, Leos, at just hiding it somewhere deep in there and not confronting the painful, the obvious, the ugly, the hurtful, you just bury it down and bury it down and bury it down to where you now are feeling defeated. Some of you are feeling depressed. Um, you... You're ready for change. And this is with somebody close to you. Could be family, friends, relationship. <clears throat> Wherever you feel like you are being confined and held down, you're ready to break free. You're ready to break out of this stagnation you're in, this feeling of quicksand rising up around you and you are finally ready to dig deep and transform into a new you. You're tired of the emotional bullshit you've been through. You're tired of people using you and Spirit's encouraging you to be cautious, be careful of how you bring your message. Um, I see some of you just blow up, blow your top. Um, like the Queen of Swords energy, like you are just cutting people out, taking names and... A lot of people are, are going to be taken back by you because this is not Leo's usual personality. 
This is not how you guys conduct yourself. But it needs to happen. It's gotten to this point where it has to happen. Change has to come. And this is part of your healing. This is part of how you are going to put this past behind you and how you are going to transform into the future a better, stronger, wiser individual. Some of you are having a lack of faith that you are able to get past this, that you are able to be successful. Spirit is saying, have the strength, have the courage. It's time to stand in your own. For a group of you, you're experiencing separation, separation from a relationship, from family. For a group of you, I see you splitting ways with a lover. For another group of you, I see your children going off to school. Um, for another group of you, I see family members relocating for jobs. Some are being sent off in the military. Whatever it is, this separation makes you feel kind of set aside. Even though for the majority of you, this is not anything that you could have helped per se, you know, like going off in the military, your children leaving for school. Um, it's not something you could have stopped and it's not something that they're leaving because you're here. So they're leaving, but it's still making you feel sad alone. And you're going to start to isolate and spirit is saying, please don't isolate. Do not go within in a unhealthy way because that's going to lead to depression. Back to this cutting people out of your life. Back to that finally getting to the point of having to tell the truth. Tell how you feel. Not the truth as in a lie, but to finally come out with how it is that you feel. To some people, for some people, this is to an air sign, which is Gemini's, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's time to speak up, but do not let anger and ego get the best of you. You can be, sorry, my computer's got unplugged. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's weird because I just unplugged this because it was at 100% and we are eight minutes into the video and I had 1% of my battery. So your guys' energy is just on me, <clears throat> which makes me conscious that you are in a confrontation uh, mode. You are ready to You have just gotten to the point of frustration and to, like, you're just tired, tired of being passed over, tired of people not recognizing people, not necessarily taking advantage of you, but not giving you credit where credit is due. Um, you have to recognize Leo. When people come into your life, you have to try to learn how to weed out the weeds. There are going to be people that are always attracted to you that are just not meant for your space, not meant for you to... Be taken for granted. 
there's going to be a lot of hurt feelings. <clears throat> you are going to bring sadness to the people you cut out of your life. Um, they're going to feel alone, like you just up and left, disappeared. But don't let that keep you from speaking your truth. Because how many times have they not held back and you just sat there and took it? How many times did you take it when it wasn't yours to take? How many times was it really them that was at fault, but for the sake of saving their feelings, for the sake of it just being easier, did you sit there and take it? Spirit's so saying don't take it anymore. It's time. For a group of you, this is at work. It's that coworker that takes the credit for everything but does nothing. It's the coworker that will never let you get higher on the ladder than them. Because they are always a little bit better. They always have a story one step better than yours. They always did something a little bit better than what you did. And they point it out. These are the people that are making you feel stuck. You are not going to rise above them. So let them be on their fake pedestal. Because once you leave the work situation, once you leave the job, that pedestal that they're standing on was only there because you were the pedestal. They were standing on you to get recognition. So when you and your pedestal walk out the damn door, they're going to fall flat on their ass. And everybody in the whole work area, the all the coworkers, the bosses, what have you, they're going to realize who it was that they accidentally passed over, that they let go and shouldn't have let you walk out the door. For a group of you, I see this job calling you back, asking you to come back. For the majority of you, I see you not returning because you're moving on to bigger and better things. You're tired of being passed over. You're tired of just sitting there letting them take the credit because you don't want to be that guy that toots his own horn. Your energy in the next four weeks is one of just of being held back. Just tired of somebody always standing in your way. And by the time you can get around them, you're in a no passing zone. So you are constantly stuck behind them, constantly in their shadow, constantly feeling stuck. You're going to break free, free from that, Leo, in the next four to eight weeks. You are going to... You are going to prepare yourself and get ready for change. You are in the process of separating yourself from the old self to the new self. You need to recognize when this is happening. Because Spirit is saying, if you hold on too tight, if you try to hold on to that past, if you try to keep this transition from happening, because you're already in it. You're in the midst of it. Once it starts, it does not stop until you are to that completion point, until that cycle of your life has ended and that chapter is closed. So the more you hold on, the longer you hold on, the longer the story drags out, the longer the pain and heartache of change is going to wrap itself around you and cling to your legs while you're dragging it around and 
it's going to be that much harder. So Spirit is encouraging you guys to be consciously aware of what's going on around you. Accept and embrace this time of change. Because when you recognize it and you roll with the punches, it's going to be over so much quicker. And your emotions won't be that roller coaster. They won't be so all over the place. Spirit saying, have faith. If you keep the faith, you will be guided. You'll be guided right where you need to be. Don't fight it. Don't hide from it. Embrace it. Embrace the change. Because you're going to transform into something better. Because right now, you are feeling defeat. You are having depression, lack of believing in yourself. Um, you're wanting to run and hide and Spirit's saying, don't do that. Because new opportunities are coming to you. It's time to change your path. It's time to change your direction. You want a solid foundation, Leo. You want somewhere where when you stand with your two feet solidly on the ground, that you're not going to, you're not going to crack and break when the ground shakes. You want to know that what you're working so hard to build to start from is going to stand with you, stand by you, no matter what tries to shake you. And you haven't had that in a very long time. This is like a 12 to 19 year cycle. The majority of you guys are in. You have been dealing with the same people, the same situation, the same frustrations for 12 years, at least for a lot of you, for, for a group of you from 12 to 19 years, this has been your life. Spirit says, it's time. You have given those people in your life one too many chances, given them the benefit of the doubt one too many times, and let them have let them have all the credit. Let them have all the the glory. Spirit saying, it's time to take that back. Don't let them have anything. Make them work for their own. You work hard for everything in your life. And, and it's causing you emotional turmoil, financial struggles, mental anguish. Just so life's a little easier for them. The directions are changing. You're dealing with somebody that's very reckless with your heart, very careless. They're selfish and they only care about themselves. You don't feel loved or appreciated. You take, you feel like you're taken for granted. You're used, you're manipulated. You Leos are going to start distant, distancing yourselves emotionally. You are slowly taking step by step back. I see a lot of you praying and praying and praying for clarity to bring you answers to lead you on how to end this cycle. Yeah. For this group of you, you're going to start realizing things. Not necessarily like people coming forth bringing them to you. You in your spiritual side, your time alone, your time to think, your time to clear your head, 
things are going to start coming to you and you're going to be like, oh yeah, what the hell was that all about? I can't believe I put up with that. Just all these thoughts are going to be running through your head and you are becoming closer and closer and closer to being ready to let go. Once you let go, new beginnings. You guys are going to be setting goals and your focus is going to turn from love and family to more of a financial side. Um, I see... I see... In this changing of direction, I see a group of you changing everything in your life in a different direction. I see huge job changes, um, moving across the country, moving across the world, following your dream job, um, things that you have done all your life. Um, you've been in the same profession for 20, 30 years. All of a sudden, you guys are going to school. You are following what it is that your heart has always wanted to try. You know, some of you are going from being an accountant to a kindergarten teacher. Um, some of you being a loan officer, going to the ministry to be a preacher. I mean, it's just... You guys are becoming more and more spiritually awakened. Um, for a group of you, a large group of you, you are going to turn to your spiritual side now and use that as a crutch to get you through this hard time. And by the time you're through this crutch or through this hard time, using that as a crutch, it's then gone from a crutch to a way of life. You have become awakened so much that that's just how it is. A lot of you are turning from the service industries as far as like business to more of the uh, service jobs of humanitarian. Um, I see you guys volunteering. Because it brings these job changes and volunteering and all that. It brings a, a feeling to your heart that you guys have not experienced. It's fulfilling. It's, it's rewarding. And not only that, you're doing good for the collective, the greater good of the world. So big job changes, big financial changes. Karma is being returned. So, you know, all that good you do, all that good you put out into the world, all that volunteer work, that humanitarian job, that all that, you will be financially rewarded by the universe. I see a windfall of money coming to a group of Leos. You're just taking on a whole new direction. That's the only word I can think for it. You are seeing the world through different eyes. You are no longer backing down. You are walking away from those people in your life that don't give a damn about you, that have put you through the biggest bullshit ever and still expected you to be there. You're walking away from those Liars, cheaters, scammers, stealers. You are waking up. You are waking up to realize slowly that not everybody in this world has a heart like you do. And not everybody in this world has the intentions that you do. Not everybody in this world has the same
just the same embodiment of humankind. Like their thoughts are nothing like yours. You, you Leos have been, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? And you are going to cut out those people that are, what are you going to do for me? What are you going to do for me? Because you're tired and you're not backing down this time. You're walking away from these people. You are in so much conflict right now, though, in relationships, in, or in yourself. I mean, you feel like you have to almost fight for, for your position, like fight for to be with these people. When really you're the one bringing everything to the table, they should be fighting to be with you. Yet you feel you have to fight to be there which is also in turn causing inner conflict. So right now your life is just full of chaos, conflict, and sadness. You can't get away from it because you have conflict on the exterior and the interior. You're constantly battling, constantly battling with other people and with yourself and For a lot of you, that's going to be enough. For another group of you, however, you have people coming back to your life. Um, this is somebody you have children with. Whether you are the mother or the father of these children, you are coming back to the other parent. You, you are going to ask for a second chance. This is the person coming back, whether you, it be you, Leo, or your um, ex that you have children with. One of you is asking to come back. They treated you bad. They did you dirty in the past. They're going to ask for a second chance and profess their love for you. Spirit is saying, give them a chance to tell their side of the story. Give them a chance to explain, to apologize, and really hear what they have to say. Because for a group of these people, they really have changed. They really did realize what they had after they were gone. And they've been working really hard on themselves to get to a point where they felt comfortable enough putting themselves out there, being that vulnerable person, and just taking a risk that they'll get the door shut in their face or you'll ask them to come in. Spirit so saying for the group of you who these people have changed for the better, you'll know instantly because you can read them like a book. You'll know if they're being true and genuine and if they are just throwing straight up bullshit your way. For the ones that are being true and genuine, Spirit is encouraging you to really, really consider whether or not to go back to these people. Because for some of you, this is your twin flame. When they took off, when they treated you like shit, when they did you so wrong, that was the separation. But you will know. So if you're sitting there asking yourself, huh, I wonder... Is he my twin flame? Is she my twin flame? No, you'll know. Everything in your body, mind, soul will tell you that it's okay. Let him back. Because all that hurt and pain will just kind of disappear after you have the truth. Once you have clarity of the situation, once you hear why it was that they did, spirit is saying, you'll know. So follow your heart. Do what your heart tells you. Either way, it'll be okay for those divinely guided relationships. If they show up on your doorstep and you can smell the crap a block away, don't go back. These are your narcissists. These are the ones that are all about me and their gravy train ran out somewhere else. So they figured they'd take a chance and stop. See if you'll take them back long enough for them to 
get to the next place they're going. Spirit said, you'll also know this. There should be no question for this group of you, for these two groups of you. You'll know one way or another. Overall, Leos, you guys just want a better life. You want stability. You want honesty. You want vulnerability. And you want to be able to trust somebody enough to allow yourself to be vulnerable and know that they're not going to take advantage of that and hurt you. A lot of you are going to leave your past in the past. For a lot of you, your soulmates are coming in this month, in the next four to six weeks. But you're taking on... You're taking on a whole new way. <coughs> Excuse me. You're taking on a whole new way of how do you handle your emotions. You... You're no longer standing for what you've put up with. And if that other person can't respect that and can't honor that and can't be that person you need them to be, a group of you will leave them behind. And that's exactly what Spirit's encouraging you to do. Leave the past in the past. If they can't offer you a relationship that is full of trust, honesty, compassion, respect, then you don't need them. You've had enough of that in the last how many years? You, I see, are putting ends to toxic relationships, whether that be in relationships with family. Unfortunately, sometimes it's better for us, for our greater good, for our loved ones that are close around us, our children, our spouses, our significant others, our friends, sometimes it is honestly better to walk away from that family member, to walk away from that toxicity. So it doesn't necessarily have to be with a lover. Cut out all toxic relationships in your life. And I see a lot of you doing that. No matter how hard it is, you have had enough. You have been pushed up against the wall so many times that it's getting easier and easier to turn around and walk away. If they're meant to be in your life, they'll return. If they want to be in your life that bad, they'll change to embody the person that you need in your life, whether that be family members, friends, or relationships. And once you make a stand for yourself, people are going to start realizing that you're no longer going to allow that. And they'll start changing their bad behaviors or they'll leave. Either way, you don't have to deal with that kind of treatment from somebody. <coughs> so I see a lot of you becoming single. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still hacking all over the place. Um, I see a group of you, a large group of you becoming single. You're ending those toxic relationships. Done. Done, done, done. For another group of you, it's not as, as many people. You are going to rekindle and You are going to work things out with a past lover. You. I'm just saying decisions will be made. They are coming back to right their wrongs. They are going to come back and confess what they did to you. And you'll have a decision to make. But I see for those of you that this applies to, you're going to take them back. You're going to work things out. 
and this is somebody at a distance and you didn't see this happening. This is a shock to you. You are surprised. You had no idea this was going to happen. It came out of the blue. You guys are going to reunite. They are going to confess what happened and that's it. You guys are going to leave the past in the past and you are going to walk this new path with this person. And I see plans are being made, big plans. This is going to bring out a lot of raw emotions. You are very sentimental about this person. Like you still have the movie tickets from your first date 20 years ago. You secretly have a photo album stashed in your closet behind 80 boxes of shoes that you pull out and look at once in a while. That's this person. That's that person that was so important to you so many years ago that you held on to all those little things. And you didn't expect this, but you are thrilled and delighted. Because these people, this person that's coming to you, they make you feel worthy. A lot of you are struggling with self-confidence issues. A lot of you are feeling defeated, deflated, defensive. But this person, the minute they walk in the door, no matter how bad a day you're having, no matter how much you want to rip the face off of the next person that says hi to you, they walk in and it's like everything around you melts. Everything seems to go away. That horrible problem you had doesn't seem to be that bad anymore. That every situation that was just life-ending drama seems to disappear. Because when you two are in the same room, it's like you are the only two there. They make everything okay. And you remember why 20, you know, 15, 20, 25 years ago, why you kept on to all that stuff when you did. It's going to bring back happy memories. Um, and for this group of you, yeah, you were wronged. You wronged them somewhere along the path 15 years ago. But the only thing you are bringing forward from this point are the happy memories. You are letting the past be the past and just embracing the memories that you two shared and moving forward. For a group of you, these are your soulmates. Your, your reason for being here And I just see you guys having so much fun. And Leos, you guys have had a rough, rough cycle. And this is a breath of fresh air. However, Spirit is saying you need to have trust. You have been so hurt that all your past fears start coming up now. Especially when this person comes back because you, this seems too good to be true that, you know, is this real? You keep pinching yourself. It is real. What's also real is you, you have a potential for ending this. They're not going to leave. They don't want to leave. They came back for a reason. <laughs> they just came back after 20 years 10 years, five years, whatever, years, threw themselves at you, admitted they were wrong, admitted they hurt you, opened their heart up, became vulnerable, spoke their truth, professed their love to you, took the risk of being turned down and humiliated, not to just walk away from you, they're here for real. They're here for a reason. They're here because they missed you. They knew what they had and they have been kicking themselves for years because they let it go. But it was part of your guys' journey. You had to separate, to live your own lives, to learn what you had to learn, only to come back at the end 
and live the rest of your life with all these lessons that you can bring to the table to share, to live, to learn. Don't push them away. Do not run away. Do not doubt this. Do not let your fear stand in the way of this happily ever after because you don't trust anybody. And rightfully so, I guess you could say. You've been shit on. You've been stomped on. You've been lied, cheated a lot. A lot. (laughs) Some of you have been abused mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually. So why would you trust this person that just came back after how many years of taking off on you? Well, I can tell you they didn't come back just to leave. They came back in hopes that you would let them love you again. They came back in hopes that you still loved them, that you will let them be your happily ever after. They didn't come back to hurt you. So show a little trust. Give a little trust. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Trust them until they give you a reason not to. Because Spirit's saying they won't. They won't take your trust for granted again. Because they know what it's like to have been with you and to be without you. And what did they do? They came knocking at your door. They chose with or without you. They chose with you if you'll have them. So don't push them away. That's the only way this relationship's going to end. Is if you let fear of your past relationships sneak up into your head and into your heart, and scare you, and you start subconsciously pushing them away. So consciously make an effort to give them the trust they deserve, and have faith. For another group of you, there's a past lover that's going to come back, and they're going to Bring everything to light. They are going to they're going to let you know what they did and why they did it. And they're not reaching out for a relationship. They are doing it because they had to. They had to get this off their chest. They had to clear their conscience, their mind, their heart. And they're going to offer you friendship. And for a group of you, this is going to turn out to be one of your best friends for the rest of your life. You will forgive them. You will move past it. And you guys will become closer than ever on a friendship level. For another group of you, a family member is going to come forward and offer explanation of something that happened that you got blamed for, Leo, and it And they knew it wasn't you. It was them. They let you take the fall for something that happened within the family. That's going to be brought to light. Spirit is saying it's up to you whether you forgive or not. But just remember when you forgive, it's for you and not for them. Let it go. Spirit is also saying that a group of you, a large group of you, you've been in limbo. You've been in this phase in your life. Where you have been a third party or you, your spouse has brought a third party in. However, it came about, there are three of you and you've been in limbo. Spirit saying, the only thing limbo does is takes away the opportunity To spend your time doing something you love. Why are you waiting for them to make a choice? I think I said this in maybe Taurus's video. Um, Don't give them the opportunity to make a choice. If you are an option, then they are not for you. You need to be their goddamn priority. 
if there's a choice, if you're waiting for them to pick you, what are they picking you for? What are you standing in line for? Kickball? It's time to walk away. You deserve to be loved fully. Only. Leos, transformations are coming. Cycles are ending. And Spirit says new beginnings are coming. Filled with passion. Passion for things you've never known you could be passionate for. So don't give them the satisfaction of thinking that it's up to them. <coughs> because for this group that's in limbo, how long have you been in limbo? For the majority of you, I'm seeing anywhere from July to September of this past year. What is that? Six, seven, eight months? Okay. For one, if they wanted you for the long haul, they wouldn't. Okay, it shouldn't, for one, it's been saying mistakes do happen. People may question from time to time, is this re this relationship for me? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this person who I feel I am solely connected to and equally, equally, um, like mentally equal, emotionally equal? You will have those doubts. Most people don't act on those doubts. But there are the occasions where people make mistakes. But it don't take them eight freaking months to decide what they want to do. If they were scared to lose you, they would not put you in this position. Because even if they do choose you this time, who's to say next week someone else won't come in the picture? And... They'll choose them. You know, Spirit is also saying people make mistakes. And in relationships, people do get cheated on. People do cheat. That doesn't mean they're going to do it with every single person they're with the rest of their life. But if they do it on you, chances are they won't think twice to do it again on you. Because you two are not meant to be together. If that's, if you are constantly just an option, you need to find that one out there, Leo. You need to find the one that always picks you. When you're walking down the street, they are proud to say, hey, that's mine. Not ducking in case they run into other females or other males walking down the road. And Spirit says, you know if this is you, you're talk he's talking to. Because he hears, they hear your prayers. The divine hears your prayers. They hear your prayers at night. You pleading to your higher power to to show you a clear path to show you what you're supposed to do to bring you out of this situation. <clears throat> Spirit is saying, they hear your prayers. And they are answering them. Sometimes when the divine answers our prayers, if it's not the answer we want or expect, we think they're not answered. But Spirit is saying that the divine is answering your prayers. They hear your cries. They see your sadness. They feel your heartbreak. 
And that is why they're putting things in your path. They're putting situations that you are having to deal with to lead you, to guide you, to put you on the right path to your destiny, to give you what is divinely guided and is rightfully yours. So your prayers are heard. And for this group of you, I see you crying, laying in bed and crying, so many tears. So you're saying to dry those tears because it's time to get up, to put your walking shoes on. Because with this transformation, with this 12 year, 19 year cycle ending, for some of you, it's a three year cycle. If the last three years has been like this, up to 12 and 19 years. Spirit is saying your transformations are in process. Your cycles are coming to a close. And it's time to walk on. Because new beginnings are here. And they are full of passion. They are full of success. And I see this financially and emotionally. Um, I see a lot of you. Money is just rolling in. Um, for a large collective of you. You are more focused on your inner self than ever before. And this is causing you to be more spiritually awakened. More awakened to the consciousness of the universe. And this is going to bring you success in every area of your life. You are letting go of the past. You are changing your thought patterns, your thought process, the way you handle things, deal with things, the way you choose who comes into your life and who walks out. And you're going to finally Know your worth to yourself inside and out and to everyone else in your world. You you're going to be confident. You are going to realize how much strength you honestly have. For a group of you, there's going to be somebody coming in that is going to offer you the world. Offer you everything. And they've been doing this for a while, but your guard has been so far up that you don't even realize that this is going on. But slowly, the more you're awakened, the more you're going to let your guard down. You're going to let those walls come down around you because you are going to be able to sense in your own power and know when you come in um, contact with somebody you are going to know their vibration. You are going to know if they're up here or down here. And you are no longer allowing anybody into your life unless they're at least here. So you're going to you're going to be more confident and those walls are going to come down because you are learning how to filter those people out before you even let them in. So there's no reason to have a guard and a wall up for those people that you already let in. Because you're figuring out how to recognize people's energy, recognize people's vibration. They're good. They're, they're worth your worth. You Leos are going to finally allow somebody to love you. Somebody that deserves you and you deserve them. You are going to let it happen. But spirit is just reminding you again. Trust. Put yourself out there. Let yourself trust. And it's going to be okay. Because this cycle that you have been in in the last how many years? Three years? Nine, 12, there's no looking back. You are not going back there. You've been there and it sucks and you will not let yourself go back there again. Spirit so saying you will know, you will know the people that you can trust, that you can let in your life eventually. But right now you're just blocking everybody out because you can't trust no one. 
don't do that because you are blocking out some of the best, most authentic and real people you're ever going to meet in your life. And when you start letting these high, high vibration people in, because they're going to be attracted to you, the higher you vibrate. Once you let them in, you're going to get a windfall of abundance in everything. You're going to feel emotionally satisfied. You are going to know that you have so much to offer. You're going to perform better in your jobs because your confidence is going to go through the roof. You are going to feel loved and appreciated. You are going to feel just like you are healed. You are going to feel balanced. You're going to feel better than you've ever felt in your whole life. You are going to set goals and destroy them daily. You are going to let go. You're going to let go of all the worry, of all the fear, of all the heartache, and you are going to, in turn, embrace a whole new you, a whole new outlook, a whole new life. You just have to get through the next, I say, by the by March for sure, these um, transformations are going to be complete. It's going to be a hard four, four to eight weeks um, for the majority of you, but when you're done with this cycle in your life, this chapter, you are going to realize just how much that those chapters had to happen because if they didn't happen, you wouldn't be who you are today. You built yourself up from defeat. You built yourself up from heartache, from, from fear, you couldn't be the person you are today without the struggle you've had of the yesterday, of the day before, the year before. Everything that has happened in your life has brought you to the point you are now. And now that this chapter is ending, you are only going to grow from here. You're going to go up. And you are going to look back at your life and reflect and you are going to see just how far you guys have come because you had a hell of a mountain to climb. You're almost to the peak, to the best part, to enjoy the view. You have been constantly climbing up the side of that mountain, struggle, fear, hurt, heartbreak, disappointment. But you're to the peak. You're almost there where you get to stand up and Look at around you and see all that you've accomplished, all that you've came through, all that you've survived, all that you didn't think you could take one more step, but yet you're walking through to the other side. It's going to be a beautiful journey. I see a lot of you taking up creative writing, writing your life story, sharing it with others, becoming part of support groups to so many things like I just see so many great things for you guys. Don't give up. <clears throat> the top is in sight and come March, you are going to be enjoying the oh so breath at fresh air of working your way down the mountain, um, enjoying the views on the other side. So spirit is saying, get rid of the people that you have to get rid of. Even if you have to take that queen of swords approach and just start cutting them out, cut those people out and then allow new people to come in because it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So many people, so many signs are getting this. It's time to cut out, cut out the past and uh, take your first step into your future because it only goes up from here. So enjoy it. Um, good things are coming for you guys. So new love, new jobs, new opportunities, new locations, just all around change for the better. And 
it's it's time to get out of that box you've been living in. <coughs> Emotionally and mentally. Get out of that box. Go explore the world. Pick up and move across the country for a job. Go traveling. Just get out of that box. We were not meant to stay in one place. This big, wide world was not meant for each one of us to stay in the same place forever. It's out there to explore, to experience, and to share share our story with the next person. So don't forget to do that, Leo. Because even though it's been a hard, rough road, it's still a beautiful story to share because it's your story. It's where you came from, where you started from, and where you're going is yet to be written, but it's your story to write. So go out and get those new experiences, meet those new people, and make this chapter the best chapter yet. So that's all I have from here at Indigo Goddess 1111. I'm Indigo, and I'm sending you all love and light, and may God bless you with a beautiful journey.